Hi, this is Julie from WordPressUncovered.com. This is a quick tutorial on how to add an ads.txt file from Google AdSense or any other file for that matter. We're going to use an FTP program and going to take less than two minutes to do. Of course, you could use a plugin, but it's so easy to do with an FTP program that there's no need to add another plugin to your website. You can use any FTP program for it. I use FileZilla. It's very easy to use. It's open source and is even recommended by WordPress. But if you downloaded a different one, it's no problem. Go with that one. If you don't have an FTP program yet and would like to know how to connect your site with an FTP client, feel free to check out my quick tutorial on how to do so. Once you got your FTP client set up and connected, come back to this video. Now, back to your Google AdSense account. Log into your Google AdSense account or go to the email they sent you after applying for it. Click Get Started. If you see an alert here on top, click Fix Now. This will open up the little window down here. This will create an ads.txt file for your site. Click Download to download your file. If you run ads for other sellers, contact them and ask them for their ads.txt file. Then you can just paste that information into the, into the file you just downloaded. Now, let's have a look at your FTP program. When you open FileZilla, you will see you've got here on top, you've got your login fields. So you put in your login details, same way as I just showed you in the other video. And then we log in. Now, what you see now here on the left, that's your local site. Okay, so you can see here, that's my desktop. And here I've got all the files on my desktop. Here I've got documents, I've got downloads and so on. And you can also, when you click the little arrow here on the left, when you open it, then you can see all your files in that folder. Okay, so it works the same as your, as your normal finder window. We're gonna click here now on downloads. So whenever you click on it, here underneath, you're gonna have all the files showing up. Okay, so we got, this is my local site. Here on the right, that's your remote site. So that's what you've got on your hosting account. So when you click the little arrow, you're gonna see here, if you have an email account set up with your, with your WordPress account, you're gonna see that. And then underneath, you're gonna see the domain of your website. Click that, please, just one click on it. And what you'll see now, you've got two options. You can either open it here with a little arrow, or you also, whatever you highlight here on the top field, you're gonna see here on the bottom. Here now, we have to find our root folder. To find the root folder, we have to go to public HTML. One click on it, you see, now all these files open up. What Google asks us to do is to add the ads.txt file to your root folder. So once you've got the public HTML folder highlighted, you know your new root folder. Now you've got different options of transferring the file. You can, let's click on the file on the left. So I'm here in download got my download folder, I've got my ads.txt. I click on that, because that's the one I want to transfer. Different options. I can do a right click here and click upload. Or I can hold on to it with my mouse and drag it over, okay? Be careful, here now, I would add this file into a different folder. I don't want that. I want that the file goes here into my root folder, okay? So onto this level. So careful with drag and drop. Another option is to highlight this file and now just do a double click. See what happened? With a double click, we transferred the file here to our root folder, to the folder we highlighted here in the top, which in this case is public HTML. And there's a file. Now, to check that it all worked, what you can do is you go to your browser, open a new tab and type in your domain name, forward slash ads dot txt. That's the file we uploaded. When you click enter now, you should be able to see the content you just uploaded from that file. And here it is. Very good. So you know, it doesn't look like much, but that's all you need to keep your seller's information transparent. Now, if you ever change ad seller, what you can do is you can go back to your FTP program, find that file, which is here, RDS text, do a right click on this file, and click View Edit. Now this will open it in Notepad or Text Edit. Here we go. 
And now you can add here the information of your new art seller to it. Save it and that's it. Then it's all up to date. Now, that's it. Very easy to do, even for non-techy website owners and no need for a plugin. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials to come. Thank you very much for watching.